G'day everyone, my name is David Mine. welcome back to First Time Reefer TV, and we are back in lockdown here in Melbourne, so unfortunately we've got a quick five day snappy down here, um, but uh, our friends up in Sydney have been uh, entering their fourth week of lockdown now, and uh, I feel for the reefers and all the people up in Sydney, especially the store owners. Um, so, you know, very much like I asked everyone to support the LFS stores that were down in Melbourne here during our sort of three month stint of lockdowns that we had down here. Um, I thought I'd uh, sort of start uh, sharing the videos that I filmed while I was up in Sydney recently, just before all of this madness broke out up there. And uh, so the next few videos that'll be coming up will be highlighting six or seven stores that I visited uh, while I was in Sydney, what stock they've got, and uh, yeah, show the, show the guys some love and support them whichever, with, uh, with whatever means that you can, because um, I can totally understand and relate to how hard it is to go through these lockdowns and, and survive and most importantly, get out the other side. So uh, don't forget that uh, Reefstock has also been postponed until October 30th and 31st. Fingers crossed that all of this craziness is over by then and uh, we can sort of uh, get a show together. I'm confident it will be and we should be okay, but let's just make sure we all do the right thing and try and get over this so we can get back to some sort of normality. But please, support all your LFS stores across the country, and especially the guys that are doing it tough in Sydney at the moment. But I'll throw you, uh, you guys over to this video series now, and I'll see you in my next video. Today on FTI TV, we're gonna check out Tropical Marine and Hamali HQ. <laughs> G'day everyone, my name is David Mine. Welcome back to First Time Reefer TV and I'm gallivanting around Sydney with my homeboy. Where is he? Where is he? There he is with my homeboy Lamb. We are dressed like twins because we're just cute AF like that. Uh, but he's driving me around Sydney and uh, we today uh, are stopping into Hamali HQ. They have recently just uh, uh, set up a new warehouse, which is going to be their new factory to pump out all of the Hamali gear. But it also, if you can probably see, uh, it's called Tropical Marine, which is their retail store as well. It's going to be selling uh, freshwater and saltwater, uh, fish, coral, plants. Uh, so we're going to go check out their, uh, their showroom upstairs as well. But let's firstly walk through and uh, check out their uh, Hamali uh, manufacturing facility. Uh, we'll walk through the doors here and I'll get Eric to jump on camera and take us for a little tour around their factory and just find out exactly um, how the magic happens here at Hamali. It's gonna be a bit noisy because I do have a CNC machine running in the background. Um, but uh, we'll go for a spin around and uh, we're gonna end up at this guy right here. So I'm gonna mic him up now. Let me get a mic on. I'm gonna mic him up now. Uh, can I clip it to your beard? <laughs> yeah, to the beard. <laughs> that should be all right. That should be good like that. Right? Uh, so, mate, I'm gonna turn this camera around now and I'll get you to take us for a tour of your beautiful factory. Everyone, right, I'd like you to meet Eric Juicic, my homeboy from Hamali, Australia, taking the world by storm with some of the best acrylic uh, products that you can absolutely get your hands on. We'll sort of find out, I suppose, let's, let's talk about the process uh, maybe of how the sumps come to fruition. And uh, maybe, maybe you'll start with a quick tour of, of, uh, of, of, of the factory. So if we start here, this looks yeah, like where so all the uh, obviously product Obviously we've got is. the entrance to the factory here. So obviously where we keep our raw material. Um, obviously we've got, you know, just about finishing a huge job. So we're a bit short of material at the moment, but We've got packaging as well, where we do all of our own crates in-house as well. So um, it starts as a big 8x4 sheet, essentially, right? Yeah. Yep. So it all starts there. Um, and then obviously, yeah, it works its way through the machine and comes back out as yep. a finished product. So this is sort of like... Um, so this is just stock, raw material. Um, so these are all our... These are like the reactor tubes? Yeah, these it? are all our cylinder tubes for our dosing vessels, uh, reactors, uh, for our standard line off the shelf. Yep. Um, just stock, mate. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, a lot of the stuff. This is once it's cut to size, then you stack on the shelf and it's ready to be used, right? Yep. Well, we actually um, 
that's all pre-cut from our manufacturers, so yeah. it's all good to go. I love your signage. And the orange colour, it's hot. Something different. Very, very hot. Um, so that's some of the prep stuff. You've got your filter fleece rolls yeah, here as well for the roller the shelf. Um, Huge rolls too. Yeah, they're 100, 100 metre rolls. And what micron is it? Uh, 50. Okay. And everyone knows that uh, I'm a huge fan of roller mats now, and I'll probably never ever run my tank with another roller without a roller mat, I should say, because I freaking hate socks. Yeah, socks I think everyone's worst. feeling the same. And look, that mate, they're becoming the standard now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Nobody wants to, you know, be washing socks. Yeah. So yeah, no, they're doing very well. So we go so. from raw products. So I'm going to spin around a little bit yeah. here, but so let's, uh, excuse let's the mess on. in the factory at the moment. We've just got a big job that we're working on at the moment, and it just stumps everywhere. Yeah. But yeah, so come through. Um, we're just cutting when, out a job. When this now thing sounded, when this thing started up before, it sounded like a freaking spaceship, man. <laughs> it was cool lad. But this is uh, this is obviously the machine is working at the moment. It's yeah, making so, you some money. Yeah. So that's the workhorse. Um, so yeah, it's a CNC router. And this is uh, programmed on a CAD file, I assume, yep. of some sort. Yep. So we do all the design in-house, um, and then basically, yeah, give the instructions on the machine what to do, and it cuts everything out for us. So, yep. um, as you can see, I mean, it's quite a, I mean, it's a seriously tedious process to to cut out a sheet of acrylic, no doubt. Well, yeah, and especially sort of, you know, when you're working with water, um, and obviously you're working with very tight tolerances, so. You can't, you can't do the job without it, so. Yeah. You know what's crazy? That this machine used to be in your bloody garage. Yeah, man. You must have some very understanding neighbors. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's funny that, because they're all moving out. They're all selling their houses now. I'm thinking, gosh, man, you've got peace and quiet, and now these are all moving out. Yeah. So it must be me, not the machine. So for instance, does, does, if it's cutting out a sump, let's say, yep. um, how long does it take to cut out all the panels for, oh. say, like a four foot sump? On a four foot sump, you'd probably be looking at, mate, depending on how detailed the sump is, we're talking roller mats. Um, mate, on average, with one of our sumps, we're looking at about 80 individual parts. Yep. Um, and that can take anywhere up to, you know, up to 10 hours to cut. Crazy. Yeah, so yeah. it's, people think it cuts quick, but it's actually quite a slow process. Yeah. Um, and for example, this material, which is polycarbonate, that's what we use on all of our lids. Um, because of the type of material that it is, and you can see here, it really it binds up. Um, it's a terrible product to actually work with, but it's you, you can't use anything else. You know what I mean for your lids. So yeah. that actually has to cut, basically do two passes, even though it's a thin material, just to give us that nice clean cut. You know what I mean? So, and again, so it's cutting twice over itself. So it's, again, it's doubling the time. Man, your missus must be so happy this is out of the garage too. Well, you can ask her. She's over there. So. <laughs> So nah, once it gets good. cut here, yep. uh, it moves on to the uh, production assembly line through uh, here. Almost. Well. So yep. we actually go over here where we've got our prepping area where we sort of try to contain all the dust. Yep. Um, so basically here, mate, this is just, you know, this is our, ra our router section. This is where we do all of our sanding, our prepping. Um, so this is where we prep everything. Every panel that we cut on the router, we hand sand every edge. Uh, to make sure it's nice and flat and true. Which um, is that? And, and this is the router, isn't it? That's one of the routers, yeah. yeah. Um, we've got you know, different routers for different applications. Um, but that's where, this is where we sort of try to contain all the mess. And this is the uh, big tool workstation. Yeah, so this is obviously just a bit of storage here at the moment. Well, that's a job that we're doing at the moment. But yeah, this is where we do all of our uh, uh, electronics for the roller mats in-house. Um, and just store, you know, all our power tools and that. So neat and organized, man. I love it. Uh, you, mate, you got to be, man. Yeah. Um, if you got lots a clean environment, man, you work better. Yep. Lots of so, tools. And, you know, we're still a work in progress. We've only been in here for, what, five months now? Yeah. So, and we just haven't stopped, mate. So, Is this? every opportunity we get, man, I'm trying to sort of, you know, put more shelving up, organizing things, so... And this is uh, where the magic happens, I would say. Yeah, so this is our assembly area. Um, 
<laughs> so we're currently doing a big job for the, uh, the team, uh, Fresh By Design. So yeah, we're doing... Just like, I want everyone to see how ridiculously thick this acrylic is. 15 mil, did you say? Yeah, 15 mil. That's crazy, man. I tried to lift this before and I nearly pooed my pants. <laughs> but yeah, that's crazy. So there's, uh, I think they've got a massive order. There's like nine sumps or something. Yeah, it, nine it? sumps. Yeah. Um, then we've, that, what's getting cut on the machine now, we're doing big lids as well, polycarbonate lids for big holding tanks. So for anyone um, that doesn't know, Fresh by Design does primarily aquaculture facilities and massive, massive aquaculture yeah, facilities. Yeah, so all your big stuff. And this is what stuff. one of the jobs is for. And all of the sumps that you see in this room here at the moment, plus some of the ones that are outside in the main room that are completed, uh, are all for their job. As you can see, they've got a beautiful uh, uh, logo on the front of them. Nice bit of clear acrylic over the, the, the label. So these are some top-notch stuff. Uh, pretty fancy for an aquaculture facility, I would say. Yeah, look, at the end of the day, you know, if you can express your business, you know, make it look better, mate, why not? That's it. <laughs> and um, I see something on the back shelf there, on the table. Are we allowed to talk about that? Is that your, your, your new turf scrubbers there? Oh, that one there, yeah. Well, that one's not quite finished. Um, yeah. That one's still sitting in parts, actually. We Sorry? Just, yeah, we just did a run of them. That one there is still not completely finished. Okay. So, I mean, that's the that's the skeleton essentially. Pretty much, that's just the skin of it. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. Yeah, we just did a big run of them. Very nice, they and they're they're hitting out. the market soon, aren't they? They're yeah. We've just we just uh, sent out our first batch of them last week. Beautiful. So. Um, so yeah. you've got uh, six assembly tables here, and they're all full with the fresh by design <laughs> jobs at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much ran out of space, but yeah, probably a good headache to have. I can't complain. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so this is where we do all our assembly. Um, and all your plumbing parts against the wall there, is it? Yeah, got all our bits and pieces, stuff that we you know readily use. You know, all our coloured screws and all our John Guest fitting bulkheads that we use for all our dosing ports and all our bulkheads for all the plumbing. So everything's hard plumb for, on our sumps. Is it all Sand King plumbing now? Uh, predominantly, yeah. Um, most of it is, yeah. Yeah. Um, everyone's going down that avenue, and just the quality of the stuff is phenomenal. Do you Man, know what I mean? It's just the range of the stuff that you can huge, get. Absolutely you huge. You can literally either MacGyver it together out of their fittings, yeah. or they've thought about it and have provided just the fitting that's exactly, appropriate for exactly, it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, and, I, uh, I can't. I can't. Yeah. Speak more highly enough of the product. It's phenomenal. Amazing. Um, Plenty of orders on the uh, on the board there, but we'll sort of blur them out a little bit so yeah. we can't see customer details. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you've got a couple of IBCs here. This is obviously water storage, which has nothing to do with the acrylic manufacturing. No, this was just actually we just whipped this up the other day, so still a work in progress. Um, we've obviously got our retail store, Tropical Marine, and um, the Hamali showroom upstairs. Here so. we go. I think we should go upstairs and have a look at. It. What do you think? Yeah, let's go for a walk. There's Boogie. We'll just uh, check out your badonka donk as you go up. Go. Do it. So we walk in, and we go up the stairs here to the showroom. <laughs> and uh, lots and lots of different brands up on the wall there. You got CJ, Tunzi, Dalua, Red Sea, Kessel, Ecotech Marine, obviously Hamali itself. That is very, very cool. Does it light up? No. Boo. So then, I hope you guys are ready. Check out this for a showroom. Full disco lights ready for a rave party. A lot of flat, shiny benches to do things on and beautiful. So take us for a walk around this. What have we got here? All right, so yeah, so this is obviously still a work in progress. We actually just started filling up the tanks yesterday. Yep. Um, so yeah, so this is basically Tropical Marine slash Hamali HQ. Yep. Um, so yeah, yep. so people can come here. Um, if they're interested in Hamali product, they can actually see our sumps running real time. Um, it's a complete Hamali fit out from all the fish systems to the coral systems, sumps, the whole lot. Uh, obviously, we're going to be stocking, you know, a lot of product off, uh, off the shelf sort of stuff, accessory line. Uh, but again, we're also going to be stocking, you know, all your well-known brands as well. So it is an aquarium store. Um, and basically, yes, yeah, so we're sort of trying to capture 
um, a market here in Wollongong in the Illawarra, and yeah, hopefully it, it does what it needs to. Um, we've got a website getting built right, up as so, we speak. Okay, so I'll chuck a link to the website there, but it might not be live yet. So, uh, I mean, you, you, you built all this, I mean, just in your spare time because you don't sleep, but maybe uh, actually, let's... no, I built it in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's go through from system to system. What have we got here first? All right, so this is... This is obviously not running at the moment. But... No, not yet. So this is going to be our planter tank. Um, so obviously we'll have our fully submerged and semi-submerged plants in this tank here. Beautiful, and that's run with the Hamali sump underneath it as well. Yep. And there's a, uh, a finished product of the uh, algae turf scrubber, by the looks of it. That looks like it's finished, with pretty lights much. attached and all, pretty much. Um, so a few of those kicking about as well, which is a fantastic way of uh, nutrient export. And uh, the turf scrubbers are definitely making a comeback. Uh, so that's their freshwater planted system. And then we'll move to this one. Yeah, so this is one of the two coral bays. Um, so we've just literally just filled these tanks up the other day. Um, so we're going to start obviously cycling these things and hopefully in the next four to six weeks we start, you know, getting livestock. But yeah, it's all constructed out of black 10 mil uh, cast acrylic. And I've had a few people asking me, why'd you go black? And I just thought, why not? Because <laughs> once you go black, you... That's it. Mm -hmm. um, this one's your Platinum uh, Series Sump. Yep, well. so yep. So you'll be able to see, you know, the roller map so this showcasing, the, working. It's not running at the moment, obviously, we don't have all the rolls in the there, but... Roller mat. And then it travels down there, yep. comes back up. That's the uh, GW7 skimmer, by the looks of it, the yep. DC model. Yep. Uh, which I run on my own systems, which is a fantastic skimmer. Then we've got a media chamber here. Then a return pump chamber and heater chamber. And that looks like a, just a tiny little ATO on the end as well. It is, yeah. Beautiful. And this is something that's just off the shelf, right? Yep, that's going to be an off the shelf product. Amazing. And you do uh, different color combinations as well. That's the bumblebee color over there. Yep. In a little, uh, looks like a 600 by 600 sort of size tank. Yeah, they, thereabouts, yeah. Yep. And then uh, you've got your light racks up here, which we can have a look underneath. It's got uh, three ring cutouts and that's going to hold kessels, did you say? Yep. It's pretty cool. And that's all suspended from this uh, monstrous aluminium uh, rack that you've got hanging above your tank here, which is absolutely beautiful. Something that I wanted to do for uh, my own system, but uh, I didn't quite have the skill set to do it. <laughs> so we've got a, a, <laughs> a black and blue combination of basically an identical system. Identical, just different colour scheme, yeah. How many holes in each setup? Oh, you should know that, surely. My, uh, yeah, a no. thousand? Two thousand? It would, it would be up there. Yeah, okay. It would be up there. Very, very um, cool, so lovely and shallow, and a really, this is a fantastic height, uh, just to be able to sort of look down on frags. Um, to, for, for the top downs, and obviously this is the middle section. You haven't yeah, tuned so it because you've only just filled this with water. Yeah, but so that's, it still needs to be tuned in, but yeah. So basically both sharing the same wheel. Yeah, good stuff. At least that way too, you know, we can set it up so one <laughs> side's running more of a higher flow than the other. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but all running off the same water column, so. Yep. And over against the wall here. Yeah, so that's our racking systems. Um, again, all made in house. You know, we'll have a couple of them which will be for marine fish, the other two will be for fresh water. Yep. You've actually got one, this one's filling up with water at the moment. Yep. But this one is actually already full of water. That yeah, has full. nothing to do with pressure from me coming down for you to fill them with water. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this looks like a different style of sump. Yeah, so this is more of a sort of, you know, um, more of a budget sort of line. Um, it's running dual uh, seven inch filter socks on this one. Yep. Uh, obviously, again, it's not finished. We've still got to fit all the bulkheads in it. Um, but a good D, size, a good size DW7 sump. skimmer. So yeah, your skimmer, your media chamber and your return. Lovely, I love how neat it looks, man. Your plumbing work is very, very neat. And you've got the... Uh, the controllers for your skimmer just inside there, and I assume you're going to put the. Is there a controller for the return pump? Or. I oh, know they're just an AC return pump, yeah, is it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Beautiful. So 
that's going to hold all of your marine and freshwater fish, I assume? Yeah, so two racks will be for marine and the other two will be for fresh. So Good stuff. And then we've got uh, the, uh, the disco light up uh, stock display stands over here, which is uh, going to house obviously a lot of your product as well, as well as uh, supplements and everything else that you need. You've got the Reef Revolution range up there. Mm -hmm. Quite extensive range. Um, yeah, we've jumped on Reef Revolution. Um, mm. you know, I'm all about supporting Australian uh, manufacturing, and you know, I know how hard it is, is you know, to get your business off the ground and get where it needs to be. Um, and Nathan from Reef Revolution, me and him met a couple of years ago at Reefstock and champion of a guy, and he's, he's doing very well. And yeah, be more, you know, more than happy to support his brand, his product. Um, yeah, we're, gonna, we're running all these salts, mixing everything in house for these systems. He's going to be soon to be releasing his freshwater range as well. Um, so yeah, he's kicking goals. Lovely man. Goals. So. And then we got this behemoth of a potential display tank, I assume. Is that marble on the front of it, man. Yeah. That's fancy as, bro. And uh, how big is this tank? Uh, eight by two by two. Eight by two by two. So that two. was yeah. Chris from Jay Z Marine put this one together for us. And the biggest um, question is: this going to be salt water or fresh water? Please say salt water. It will be salt. <laughs> Crazy. Um, that will be probably one of the last things that we sort of get finished in the store. Humongous. Um, and you got your counter to the right of it. Yeah, counter's going to go here. Then we've got more shelving, which will be against the back wall there, where we'll have all of it. You know, all of our high-end products, all our pumps, and all the electronic components will be along the back wall there. Bit of a store in behind the tank there, where we can do all of our testing and. Keep all the things that we don't want you guys to see. <laughs> all the rubbish, <laughs> empty beer bottles. Yeah. Um, and then obviously, yeah, with the slap paneling here, mate, we're going to have, you know, like I said, we're going to be stocking all the big brands, Aquaforest, um, ADA for all our fresh water. And, uh, and obviously the, showcasing... That's the ATOs there. Our Hamali products as well, yeah. Yeah. Hamali products. And this is more stock shelving over here Yeah, as well. so all this shelving is going to be all for base for our freshwater aquascape. Um, and, and all these tubs well. are going to have rocks and yeah, so all the branches tubs. and stuff yep. in it, no doubt. Yep. And then a little aquascaping table. Yep. So rumor has it that this aquascaping table is going to have a scale in it. Is that right? <laughs> That's the word on the street. <laughs> so the idea is you can, uh, you know, grab your rocks, build a scape on the table. It's going to tell you exactly how many kilos of rock or wood or anything that you've used, so you know how much to pay this man. Just don't ask me to make use one. <laughs> but, um, well, this is yeah. fantastic. And, you know, some people might think this tour is a little bit premature because you're not running yet. But I love doing this before you're actually up and running. Because when I come back and this, you know, all the tanks are jamming full of stock and the shelves are full. It's uh, always fantastic to look back on videos like this. Yeah, look, it's, um, yeah, it's been a lot of late nights. I bet. Um, I don't know how you do it. A lot of late nights. So. I do not know how you do it, man. Um, but. Look, I can't, I can't take credit for the store. I've got a partner in this, yeah. uh, a good friend of mine, Steve. Um, and yeah, we both put a lot of work into this. So yeah. um, obviously with working downstairs doing the manufacturing, um, partner Steve, you know, he's running his own business as well outside mm. of this place. So yeah, it's... Um, Kev, you mean? Kevy to Kev, everybody sorry. else. Yeah, okay, um, all right. Yeah, he has, a, so, he, has a, he has a code name. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, it's it's yeah, it's it's been a it's been a ride, I'll tell you. So it's actually yeah, me and we actually last night putting water and having a beer and just like man, I can't believe we're actually getting water in the tanks now. I so love it. well, congratulations, um, man. I'm so happy that you've uh, got a facility now to be able to manufacture even more product for the market. Um, you know, now you're set to potentially take over the international world by storm, which uh, Hamali definitely deserves, but. This is gonna be very, very exciting once you guys are fully stacked with stock in here. And uh, I honestly can't wait to see it. So uh, if anyone wants to hit up any of this Hamali gear, I'll leave a, a, a link in the video down here. And uh, we'll chuck a link up to the um, Tropical Marine uh, website as well. But thanks yeah. for taking me around, man. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. I jump in. Oh, am I jumping in? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, if you guys haven't, uh, be sure to hit up those links to find out all the details. Oh, you've got Facebook pages as well, so you can find out all the details of when this uh, behemoth uh, facility is going to be 
Um, I, I wouldn't say behemoth, I would say boutique store. It's going to be probably one of the beautiful, most beautiful showrooms in Australia. I'm definitely going to give you that one. Oh, geez, uh, but once it's fully stocked with stock, I think it's going to be incredible. And I assume you're going to be doing a lot of your operations on your website as well. So um, be sure if you guys are in the area in Wollongong, yep. uh, jump on down and uh, find out when this place is open, knock down their doors and jump in and check out this amazing showroom. But I really appreciate you taking me around, man. Mate, thanks I'm so for happy for you. I still remember. The first day I saw one of your sumps that had the media reactors sitting on the outside and the plumb through and I saw that, I'm like, man, that is, he's gonna go places because there was no one doing it in the Australian market. And uh, it's, it's, I'm so glad to see you you're actually taking it over. But if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, which is a thumbs up in that corner or that corner somewhere there. <laughs> if you've got any questions about uh, this video or any questions you'd like to ask Eric, be sure to leave a comment down in the comment section down below as well. And uh, please send him some messages of support as well down there uh, because it's, it's a lot of late nights to get this going. And I, I can totally only imagine how much work has gone into this, but... Just talk about the greys. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if you guys haven't yet, please consider subscribing because it costs you absolutely nothing, but it goes a long way in helping my channel grow. And I've got to try and catch up to Sam Parker if you're watching, Mr. Parker. But my friends, until next time, peace. Ha, ha, ha.